What is going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays back with another Outriders World Slayer video to bring to you and today we are going to be doing another legendary gun guide and this is going to be on the Hellborn Bolt Action Sniper Rifle and it's tier 3 mod of Violent Rupture. So before we get into it make sure you have dropped a like and subscribe and let's get right into it now for you. Alright, as always, we like to look into the aesthetics, and you can tell right away that the Hellborn is an absolutely stunning gun. And especially at the front, uh, you can tell there's hints of like a, like a Dragunov uh, type barrel shroud there as well, which is really kind of interesting. So you can see there's some kind of inspiration from real life guns as well from there. In terms of the actual aesthetics though, you can tell there's some really nice detail that's gone into it from obviously where uh, the weathering has gone into it, where it's actually burning, and the fire effects that's coming off it really does help us out. In terms of like aiming down the side, it doesn't make too much of a difference it's definitely just purely there for look so obviously it's not going to hinder us in that way now in terms of the actual stats though this is a bolt action rifle it is a standard variant and that means that we have a low clip size and we have a decently high uh, like base damage in the first place so we have a clip size of five we have a rounds per minute of 75 the damage is at item level 66 a staggering 99,368 it has a 2.2 second reload and it has a 200% base crit multiplier. In terms of the actual stats though, we've noticed that it's been uh, it's been increased a little bit. The accuracy is a very nice 100%. In terms of how that kind of like plays into it in terms of like actual gameplay, it's not it's not too much difference. You you may notice a slight, but it's 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 not it's not changed too much. In terms of the actual attributes though, we have armor pierce, we have long range damage, and we have status power. Now, interestingly enough, this is one of the few sniper rifles that actually doesn't roll with crit damage, and. Uh, Obviously, we already have a decently high crit multiplier, but the armor pierce is there to actually kind of like complement uh, using without kind of rounds based skills. So, therefore, you can actually do more damage that way as well. The armor pierce and status power also lend itself into a normally powered kind of build. And we know that we've seen in the past in terms of like uh, trailers, uh, the content that the actual developer, uh, that the uh, community manager has actually put out, uh, which was teasing leading up to the, uh, the the release of World Slayer, that they actually used it as a pyromancer. And I can imagine pyromancers were actually rejoicing when they actually saw some of the roles on this because that would actually play really nicely into some of their skills and obviously some of their stats. Now, obviously, we don't need to we don't need to talk too much about that because let's be honest, the main reason you're all here and the main reason you're all interested in actually knowing about this is going to be for violent rupture. This is the tier three mod where shots create a volcanic explosion, dealing up to two million points of damage within a six meter radius, and this has a cooldown of five seconds. Now, this mod is probably one of the most like fan favorite, like, kind of requested things that's actually out there. Most people actually go to look for this mod. The reason why is because not only does it trigger just from shot, it doesn't need to actually hit any kind of like enemy to be able to trigger this. You can actually shoot this onto the floor, and the radius will actually be able to pick up the rest of the damage for you. It's also got ridiculously high base damage, which means that it's actually a really nice mod to actually benefit from like multipliers to actually deal a high amount of damage to potentially actually kill a bunch of enemies in one single use. And a lot of people, when it comes to like uh, swapping back and forth between weapon mods, will actually look for Violent Rupture just purely based on that because that high base damage is actually really crucial. Now outside of that, it doesn't really do too much else. Now obviously it does have a, it's one of the longer cooldowns uh, when it comes to weapon mods. And obviously this is based on the fact that it has high, high base damage, it has a radius explosion, so it has the chance to be able to do uh, a, a small amount of crowd control. Uh, so it really does bring a lot to the table and that's why it has that high cooldown. But a lot of people are able to look past that and actually use it to great advantage. And I do think that it's actually worthwhile of being one of those, those mods to actually look out for. If you do run an anomaly power build, and you want something that actually does some damage, Violent Rupture is definitely one of the, like, the first places to actually start looking. And that pretty much wraps up everything to do with the Hellborn and obviously the tier 3 mod of Violent Rupture. Let me know in the comment section down below, have you tried this sniper rifle out? And let me know your thoughts on the tier 3 mod as well. I'm definitely interested in hearing on those. Massive thank you to everyone that's made it to the end of the video, and I hope you've learned something useful about ourselves. If you did, make sure you have dropped a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And that just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on the next video.